Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today with the launch of Tribute Hall comes an exotic quest which nets you the bad juju. That is right, it is coming back and I'm so excited to pump out some Crucible videos using this weapon so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel to obviously watch that, I'll probably have that later on today. And of course drop a like for this video if it helps you guys out. So how you start this quest, it's fairly simple, just go over to Warner and pick up the chest right behind him. It'll actually require 5k glimmer, so make sure you have that. And then you're going to get invitations from the Emperor. What you need to do is load up this new activity called the Tribute Hall, and it's located in your director on Nessus, right beside the Menagerie activity. Once you get to him, you're going to notice that he has four legendary bounties called Champion Bounties, and all you have to do is complete one of these bounties if you want to progress in this exotic questline. The easiest one by far is getting 50 kills without dying. All you want to do is load up an escalation protocol very quickly and just bust out as many kills as you can and do not die this is fairly simple obviously you're going to go up against a lot of thrall and stuff like that so 50 kills should take you no longer than about three or four minutes once you're done with that hand in the legendary bounty and that is going to give you the next quest step what you need to do is go to the tribute hall and you're going to notice that once you talk to emperor callus or the statue of him that you can now buy tributes and they are available for purchase now the problem here guys is that it costs a lot of materials, a lot of legendary shards, and or bright dust if you want to get 20 tributes just by buying them. Quick edit at the last second, ladies and gentlemen. This is very important if you do not want to waste your mats. If you do all four of the champion bounties, the cost of these tributes goes down significantly. So just wanted to throw that in there really quick. You're going to be shedding a ton of materials if you did not do any of the tribute hall triumphs. So on screen now are going to be 10 of them that you can do if you do not want to waste a lot of your mats. If you're like me and you just want to get this done as quickly as possible, then go ahead and buy as many of those tributes as possible. Again, you're going to need 20 of them in total and just simply go into the room in front of Callus and hand them all in and once you're done with that you're gonna notice that you get the next quest up which is called pest control you talk to the statue of Callus one last time go back into the room and interact with the little thing in the middle of the room and you're gonna notice that the room changes there's gonna be a blight that opens up that will take you into an ascendant realm and right in front of you in that little cabinet is the skull of the bad juju and so that obviously gave everyone the indication that yes the bad juju is here and it's confirmed this is the final quest step ladies and gents go ahead and jump into the blight and um, enter the ascendant realm and you're gonna notice very quickly that this is actually the leviathan raid basically just reskinned into the shadow realm it looks really cool you don't notice that you're really in the same place which is nice and it feels different and overall this dungeon right here is very easy you should be able to you know finish this in about 10 minutes maybe less if you do have a fire team and doing this solo should be relatively achievable for everybody as well there's nothing too difficult in here just make sure you have your pve loadout on and it should go by like a breeze for this very first encounter, you're going to be in Callus's throne room and all you need to do is kill the adds and once you're done killing them, you know, nothing too difficult whatsoever, you can drop down into this hole where you normally would go after you're done with the Leviathan raid to collect your loot and then just jump across onto this dude's sword and just follow the path. Really not too difficult here. If you ever get lost in this entire area, all you have to do is look for Tolan because his light will be there and it'll kind of guide you into the right direction. So there's going to be another kind of encounter here. Nothing too difficult. This isn't like raid mechanics or anything. You just got to kill some ads and keep making your way uh, through this jumping puzzle. And again, keep looking for Tolan's light. You'll see it time to time if you ever get lost and uh, it'll point you in the right direction. More ads over here. Just kill them. There's a yellow barred wizard, but again, nothing too difficult if you have the right loadout on and just follow in my footsteps. After a few short moments, you're going to recognize the scenery here. You are in the place where you'd normally collect the loot after completing the Leviathan raid. There's going to be a bunch of ads here, so just go ahead and kill them. Some shriekers as well. And once you're done killing them, just progress in the jumping puzzle once again. Follow the path. 
more ads over here that you're gonna have to kill again nothing too difficult be careful of those uh, launchers they can really push you off the edge and be quite annoying but you can jump over them fairly simply jump over to where I just went there's going to be a little slit and a doorway and you are now in the dogs encounter what you need to do here is just take out all of these blights and eventually one big boss will spawn up that you have to kill if you have 1k voices or you know swarm of the ravens wardcliff coils whatever they'll kill him very easily so nothing to worry about there. Once you're done taking the boss out, the doorway will actually spawn and it is right where I just looked and where I killed that wizard. We decided to go the wrong way for a second, but we shortly realized that no, that is the proper way. And so go through that doorway and that'll lead you to the next encounter. Go ahead and kill all these ads and once you get to the top of the stairwell, you're going to notice that there's this massive floating Ahamkara skull and essentially what it's doing is collecting the essence from all the ads that you're killing. So basically you're sacrificing their souls and the Ahamkara skull is collecting their souls and basically charging up the bad juju for you. So it's a really awesome theme. I like what they did with this quest line and as soon as you're done killing all these ads and basically going through about three waves of these things you're basically done you'll notice that a blight spawns up all you have to do is go through the blight and then you're going to get the final quest step and it really isn't a quest step it's just a exotic that is called a weapon to end all existence and what you need to do is take that over to the cabinet you're gonna notice your good old bad juju is sitting in there and ladies and gents just like that you have yourself the bad juju this thing is absolutely awesome it is basically the exact same as the d1 counter part it is a full auto pulse rifle and the exotic is string of curses kills refill the magazine increase damage for a short duration and grant super energy based on the strength of string of curses and of course fires in full auto i already mentioned that now there is a catalyst but you're going to have to get 45 tributes which is probably going to take some time ladies and gents so good luck with that i hope you guys enjoy this weapon i'm going to go ahead and use this thing in pvp and i'll be back with you guys later later on today to show you what this thing is capable of. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.